subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to Tony Star Alpha 18. As you guys can see, we are in this little bunker we made last episode. I finished the walls, upgraded them double. The nice thing is this multi-tool laser or laser multi-tool is super super fast, so this was easily doable. Um, the roof is just one upgraded once, and then the block that's connected to is concrete. Just normal plain concrete and on top is cobble with another layer of, on top of that. And on top of that we're going to put reinforced concrete just to make sure that if zombies walk on top of it, they won't fall through over here. It seems the guards are still bugged over here, the guns are inside. Uh, now, as you guys can see, I made myself four big forges over here. I, just, I actually sold the other two, the normal forges. And then we have these four concrete mix over here. We have the mechanics workbench over here. The tail, tailor station, or as they call it, a tailor workstation. Chemistry station, two workbenches, all of it's over here. Now let's just see how far this is. 60 minutes left, we're gonna craft more. Like so. Okay, so the nice thing is, as you guys can see, I've been crafting a ton of concrete mechs. And especially since these take three stacks of whatever you smelt in, it's way easier getting stuff done. I uh, just hope I have enough sand right now. And then I actually wanna try reading these books. We've had them on us for a while now. And that's almost done, so we can grab this. We've had these books for a while, so you should be able to read them already. Um, I want to try and test that out. That it's some of these say, okay, this one we can scrap. Um, these ones that are not ready yet. Some of them say you must read them on you. Uh, rifle skill level seven, nice. Okay, and some you have to read in the uh, the desk of the yeah. What do you call this again? I keep forgetting the names, the writing desk. Some you have to read in writing desk, others you can write on top of uh, on you. So the nice thing is now we're upping our plane skills. These are the skills you actually up by using the weapons. But sometimes you don't get to use those weapons as often as you'd like. So this is a nice way of doing so. Um, which one's next? It seems that the mining skill might just be maxed. I don't know if the words are just late, but I can't read it. I'm trying to read it now, but it's just going... Okay, so we have a few left of here, bladed weapons. I want to get my bladed weapons up as well, guys. Ooh, nice. Mining tools seems to be maxed. Now, I could sell that, or... Can I scrap that? Yeah, notes. I'll scrap them into notes. Like so, read this. Our knife skill at the moment... We have two skill points of here, guys. We are so close to level 80. We just need a level and a little bit of here. As soon as we have that, we can go for our... Oh crap, what do I want to use, use it again again? Oh, I want to go for gun crafting max. So I can craft the best gun there is. Uh, most of these you have to be level 80. So as soon as I reach level 80, I'm going to be able to up those as well. Lock picking. Let's go for this one now. And then what else can I... Also guys, uh, mechanic class. I did all the beginner quests for that. So now we set the... Now actually I can go for this as well. This is maxed salvage operations. Um, I wrenched all the... Office chairs we had, miscellaneous. Uh, all the office chairs we uh, arranged and I got 96 parts. I used the me a melee tool, or rather multi-tool, laser multi-tool, for that. And guys, it is so super fast and it gives you way more. It's like a consistent amount of mechanical parts that it gives. As you guys can see, I also brought all my inventory down here. Smeltables, car parts, tools, ammo, weapons, maps, books, quests, sellables, coins, cash, mods, everything I moved downstairs. So upstairs it's now nice and clear. Uh, what's this one over here? Bladed weapons. Oh, I wanted to check my bladed weapon skill out. It says now bladed skill is... It'll show now. Come on, show faster. 12. Ooh, that's low. That's really, really low. I thought it would be way higher. Okay, anyways, we need to get this done. So let's quickly grab all our sand over here. As you guys can see, I have a crap ton of concrete. So now that we have four concrete mixes, four big forges, everything's going to go much faster, especially with this auger. This is the reason I'm getting so much done. Okay, so how much concrete mix can I make? Again, this last one will have 539. I know. Okay, I miscounted there a little bit. Okay, now I'll take everything out. I hate it when I grab something and it cooks that last one in. And you're tempted to grab that one, like that one just now. I want to get out of there fast, so I'm not tempted to grab all of that. Okay, so... Uh, we are not crafting any ammo stuff at the moment. We need more concrete mix and we're soon going to need more sand, uh, more stone. Damn, okay. I also need to smelt in some iron, guys. Um, I'm actually thinking, yeah, I'm already doing it over here. Now, this is going to be for forged iron because we need forged iron for our bars and stuff on top. Okay, so we got up here. I'll show you guys what I did over here as well. 
like this, the guards can actually see, uh, see through. It's helping the structure integrity. And now the guards can see whatever wants to go for this hatch over here. They can help shoot. As you guys can see, this is what I meant. This is the second la uh, level or second layer of normal blocks, of wooden blocks. Um, underneath this block is the reinforced concrete holding up the other layer. And then on top of here, we're going to place reinforced concrete. I also need more rebar. That's another reason why I need to craft more iron or smelt more iron. Now, I think what we're going to do firstly... Yeah, we're going to start upgrading over here. Ooh, I didn't get all the way. That sucks. Damn, I thought I might have done all the way around, but it seems I didn't. Okay, so from... Let's start from over here. The nice thing about this tool is how fast it is, guys. <laughs> it is super, super, super fast. Now, as you guys can see, I'm making all of this reinforced concrete. Whoops. Um, oh, wow, that actually broke it just now. Ooh, I'm getting too close. I'm making all of this reinforced concrete, guys, but what I still need to make reinforced concrete are all the rebar blocks on top. I'll show you guys what I mean by that right now. It is so difficult not to get too close to the wall over here. Just a step too close and you get into the spikes. Oh, come on. There's a suck of wondering what comes by now. Or if I die, I cling myself on the spikes over here. See, this reaches so damn far, but for some reason I'm getting... I'm having real trouble aiming over here. Ooh, I also need to replace all the spikes that have been uh, destroyed over here. Now guys, on the one hand, I want to place... I, I want your guys' opinion. Should I place blade traps all around on the floor? Or should I put, uh, place blade traps over here? So it actually cuts down their heads or whatever. Because if I place it on the floor, they're going to want to wail on the wall. So they are definitely going to get hit by the blade traps. Um, if I place it on the walls, they might want to hit the blade traps. And the blade traps will only hit the zombies that actually go for the walls and not the blade traps. Um, so it's a catch-22. I don't know which one I should use or utilize. Okay, I still need to upgrade all of these to reinforce concrete. This side, the back side, and the other side. But they take 20 concrete mix each. So I'll rather go for the bottom so we know it's secure. Um, if cops vomit against these blocks, they are going to destroy it. The normal rebar blocks. But for now, we just need this to be concrete, uh, reinforced concrete. We want the zombies going for the staircase over here. Um, remember, if the walls are too tough, they uh, tell themselves, Nope, it's not worth it. Let's uh, rather go around. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, and also, I want to check something quickly with my quests. Tier 5, that's the bookstore, right? Yeah. This tier 5, destroy the new guy said, this is the... Is that the pyramid? He said something about the uh, uh, level 5 one I accepted for the pyramid. is amazing because you get a ton of loot there. You can, you can get 90,000 dukes tokens from all the stuff you sell over there. Or rather get over there and sell. So apparently it's very worth it. Um, he's, but he says I should rather... I shouldn't do it when it's a level 5 quest. I should just do it when it's normal. But then again, with a level 5, guys, remember, they have a set amount of zombies. If it's just normal sleepers, there might be way more zombies. Um, take, for example, the bookstore. When we went there the first time, and we struggled so much, even though it was just melee we used, um, that was just normal sleepers. Um, the second time we went around, we had a level 5 clear quest there, and it was way easier. I know we had the guns and stuff, but it just felt way, way easier. So I think it's to do with the fact that... Um, the level 5 quest, there's only so many zombies that do spawn for the level 5. A level 5 is the, mo is the most difficult, the hardest one out there. But if you're careful about it, it could, be as e it could actually be easier than just randomly going into a building and clearing it. I do want to do a few clear quests today, but I first want to see how far we can get with a concrete mixture we have on us. Uh, we should, it seems, get about halfway at the back. I, I hope I'm done before day 28 night. So, after to, uh, this day's episode, I need to come back here, see how much... More stone has been smelted into the forges. And then craft all of that. We need concrete mix insanely bad. Come on. This tool is insanely fast, but you actually have to connect to the block. If your aiming is perfect and your timing is perfect, it feels like you're blazing through the upgrades. Other than that, it feels like it's taking forever. What's this? Dirt. Um, let's use this one. Just want to get all of this stuff out of the way. Okay. So at the back of here, as you guys can see, there is a space already that's reinforced. Every now and then when I was upgrading the blocks that were already concrete, I accidentally missed. So some blocks already reinforced concrete, but not a ton though. I actually hope or wish that more could be like that. Damn, I'm starting to kill myself with my own spikes. That's a, oh, that's the one thing I don't miss from like Alpha 9. I always say Alpha 9 was the best Alpha out there. I miss those Alphas. 
But guys, back in those alphas, oh, it was so easy to kill yourself on spikes. I think most of my spikes back there, oh, uh, most of my death came from spikes and dogs. I survi uh, survived the zombies, survived all of that, but zombies, or rather zombie dogs and my own spikes, they were the main causes of my deaths. Finally out of Conqueror Mix. I actually got way further than I thought. Okay, guys, um, it's between Daniel Schooley and uh, Graham Keegan. I can't remember which one's which. I uh, just checked before I started the episode, but I'm drawing a blank. One of them um, uh, told me about the laser tool being so awesome. Thank you for that. And the other one told me the voice that I was hearing in that lodge was that uh, mutated... Well, he didn't say it was the mutated one, but apparently the night stalkers can also talk. And the fact that the small ones weren't talking and the big one was up there and I heard a voice, I think it's the big ones that you can actually hear. And that was so damn creepy. Okay, so we need to put a few things away. Let's just put this over here. Uh, we should also be able to stack up against stuff and drop our bike over there. Okay, we don't have any tokens or any stuff. Let's just quickly drop a few things off. As you guys can see, I made myself a hatch over here so I can just drop through should I need to get downstairs. Upstairs, however, I am going to go and have to jump up there. I need to find my, uh, make myself an easier way in and out of here. Why? I had to jump off the ladder just now. Okay, so let's just dump everything we don't need. There is still a ton of concrete mix cooking in, so that's awesome. By the time we get back, that will be done. And notes, notes, notes. Oh, yeah. So at the moment, we have 51 notes. We are 70 away from the next one. And uh, we need dye. So if I see any... I wonder if I should take... I want to test this in a car, so I'm going to take that with me. Um, if I see any dyes, guys, I'm going to grab it. We need dyes. Now, as soon as we have our bicycle outside, I'm going to put my wooden spikes there. So that if tough zombies chase us, we can just place the spikes. That's going to be my go-to move from now on. If a zombie is too tough, or if too many zombies attack me, that's how we're going to get out of a sticky situation. Okay, so we need to make sure that at least the back wall, all the way around is reinforced, and the back wall over there, that are those rebar frames are reinforced. The sides I'm not that concerned about, but the back, they might want to go there instead of the front. And if that's too tough, they'll start coming around, and they'll, they're will they more likely to go for the stairs over here. Now, um, we also need... Oh, for a moment there, I thought my charge was also sliding. We also need more rebar over here, guys. This was just rebar, or we're still busy drying during the horde, and the zombies wail on this insanely hard. Now, over here, I also want to make myself a ramp. Not ramp, uh, I want to make a triangle over here. So it goes from that block to that block. Just so they don't get stuck in the corner over here, they're forced to slide down the... Uh, what do you call those? Ramp frames. They slide down the ramp frames, and then they're more likely to go around over here. I just hate those that are too lazy to uh, go around and they start wailing on the blocks. Okay, so let's go for this quest first. It's the closest one. Uh, I think that's the only quest we have, right? Just to make sure where everything on the map is. So this is the bookstore. Yeah. Um, why is it doing that? I want to stay with quests. Okay, this one is the... Th it might be the pyramid. This one is what? Up here. And where's the other one? The last one. The fetch is also in town. Okay, it's right there, I think. Okay, I still need your guys' opinion. Do you want me to do this one again or not? I don't know if I should go for the bookstore again, guys. I just feel like going there again might be cheating. I know it's a ton of tokens and stuff, and it's a quest, but we've already looted it twice. And I just feel if I go back there again, it's going to be cheating. So I want you guys' opinion. What do you guys think? Okay, so now bike down. I'll really refuel this puppy. Cooked up all the oil shell we got last episode, and now I have enough gas. Wait, how much gas do I have? 500 left. Should I need it? I think my auger is empty at the moment as well, so I need to be careful of that. As you guys can see, I'm starting to clear out all the trees in the area. I'm starting to go that direction as well. From my base, I shouldn't see any trees spawning. Then I know I've done enough. Because trees also cause lag, and especially during hordes, you don't want uh, those things to make you lag. And now I wonder, should I only go for the quest? Or should I go for this lodge as well? This lodge seems interesting. This is a Navis game map lodge of here, but it's just in the rent. What is that? For a moment, it looked like a survivor the way it walked and moved. Okay, so there are three cars over here, which is... Oh, there's a survivor fighting over there. Um, three cars with wrenching. We have our tool with us. Let's quickly test that out. And then... Ooh, that goes downstairs. Just happened to notice that. Oh, come on. I need to get my timing right to this blade as well. Remember, guys, this biome does lag for me a bit. I don't know why, but it does. 
Is that a way in? No, that's just blocks destroyed. Okay, so before we go in, let's just grab the laser tool. Um, left click or right click? Just to make sure I don't accidentally hit this thing. Uh, left click. Two, three, four. Okay, this is super fast. Compared to my normal wrench, this thing is amazing. I just need to mod the hell out of it so it's even faster, even better. You know, I wonder if I should shoot the gun outside, make them come to outside, to, or... Yeah, shoot outside, make them come from the inside to the outside. I'm going to have to shoot my shotgun through the windows to get their attention properly. Now, is this sound going to go away if I, actually, if I destroy this car? You see? Nope. That's messed up. The car is not there anymore. Okay, so zombies are starting to come for me. I am going to try and kill them before they get out, but if they get out, I should be able to take them on. Whoa, where did you come from? And you are feral. I just need to fight these guys better. I keep bleeding way too easy. It's like my timing's a little bit off. I'm trying to shoot them perfectly. Come on. I'm trying to aim it better, but every time I try and dodge them, they do a ton of damage to me. So I'm trying to hit and move back, but by the time I move back, I'm already hit. Also guys, I do have a scope on this gun now, a level 2 scope. So it's easier to see zombies in the distance. I think I'm going to do way more damage this way. Just want to watch out behind me. More zombies are coming from the rear. Although they shouldn't... Oh, the shotgun drew them. I'm going to say they shouldn't be coming after me since I have the silencer on it. But I only have the silencer on the AR. I need to kill as many zombies as possible to level up. Okay, this zombie... Oh, hello. Ooh, nice. See if I can get the headshots down. I'll be set. But I need these headshots. Okay, make sure they're on those zombies over here. I sh think I should sh first run through this place and then see if there are any secret rooms. As in the suck if I focus on going through doors and all of a sudden get jumped from behind. Something is trying to get to me though because of all that noise. Something's breaking. I think those are just bathrooms. I might be wrong. That's why I need to go check that out as well. No, well, let's just break through here. I need to see what's in there. Just now I missed the secret room because of the fact that the doors are locked. Ammo pile, thank you. Okay, so yep, it's just the bathrooms. So I wonder if it, no, oh, I, there are cabinets in there. So I have to go for those. Remember what I said, I need die, and the only way to get die is to loot the cabinets. I just need to close this door that's behind me, just in case a zombie tries to follow me. Come on. I wonder if the dies are only in the kitchen ones, or if the dies are in any cabinets. They should be in any cabinets, in cabinets as far as I'm concerned. But you never know, you can't be too careful. Okay, I need to be careful, there seems to be a cat in the area. The zombie just went out the door over there, so I wonder if they're going around or not. But there's definitely a cat. Oh, come on. My lockpicking skill is 4 out of 5, but it still fails this much. That is insane. One of you guys told me if I do something else and do it, uh, and do it again, it breaks the... Uh, that thing seems to be coming after me. I need to be careful, where is that cat? Finally, damn. Wait, what? It's trying to come through the door over here. Okay, cat down. That could have ended way worse. Ooh, there's not amount of lead over here. Hello? No, 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 no. To the side. I'm trying to cut her without hitting the door. With this thing's weird swing, it's really hard. Okay, there's a ton of cabinets in this place, but I'm not getting anything I need. What's behind that? Ooh, there's something behind here, it seems. I don't know if it's behind the bottom or the top. Let's just check that out. That was just my imagination. Now, where are you breaking through from? Oh, wow. That actually just gave me a fright. Okay, so that leads upstairs, meaning a zombie will fall down to me now. Just to make sure that I am not encumbered. I have my gun with me just in case. Come on, there should be zombies up here as well. Unless she's following me from downstairs. Yep, she followed me. Okay, so this place is smaller than it looks. It looks so huge from outside. Ooh, bookcases. Remember guys, if you see these, these are turned around bookcases. Always try and loot everything because just now you'll, you might be surprised. I don't know how many of you guys saw when I was looting the lodge at the end. Um, I actually showed where I went into that secret room. And then also... Can I stand this side? Um, in the lodge, there was also a secret container, a secret stash, hidden stash. And it wasn't even, it didn't look like a crate, it was just painted over. Finally, seven tries. 
Ooh, rad removers. That's going to come in handy. I just got a ton of rad removers. Can I put it on this? I think I'm maxed out on this one, right? Damn, that sucks. Oh, for a moment I thought it was something in front of me, but that's just that body falling. Oh, I just got a fright. Okay, so I think I must take this off over here. Because this thing it makes unwieldy. I can put this on so that the zombies don't heal themselves up too fast. And with this one, I wonder if I should keep the blessed metal on. For now, I think I'll just keep it on that. Later, I might need to change that up a little bit. Oh, I forgot that I have a time charge on me. So if I see a... Hello. If I see another uh, chest out there, or not chest, uh, another safe, I should try opening it that way. Okay, so I think that's it for the side. I don't think I missed anything. We can check this place out. It seems like there might be a little bit more over here. But it seems to be only kitchen. And again, kitchen means cabinets. Cabinets means there might be some dye. Although my luck with dye has been really, really low. So I don't know if they're forcing you to make the dye instead of anything else. It was, um, making the dye is actually harder than picking up the dye. But now it's way harder picking up the dye than anything else. And it seems nothing's outside, so we can go. We're done with this place. So next up is this clear quest over here. There's a new town over there, so there might be some interesting buildings we can see. Remember guys, we want to get the new quest. That's why I'm doing this one. We want all our quests to go to this town so we can finish this town. Okay, and... There shouldn't be any zombies left over here. Even the panther. I wonder if I should just skin it. I mean, it's meat. Meat is meat. It's been a while since I've actually stocked up on meat. And then in my bike over here, we'll can, we can put everything that we can't, or rather that we want to sell, that we don't want to scrap right now. Um, and also that can't stack. So, for example, the mods. And wrench. There's not really a ton of stuff that I really want to put in there. I just notice, oh, I still have a stack of wood. I should have put that away a long time ago. Okay, now, the ammo I'm going to keep on me. I know it takes up a, waste, uh, a ton of uh, space, guys. But I'd rather have it on me and know that I'm safe. Then take it off and I run out of ammo inside the place. That's just going to put a damper on things. Okay, we can put this away. And that should be it for now. Okay, so we are going to move up that way. Because this is going to be a fetch and clear. Well, there are so many of these cats around. You know what, let's just kill it. Don't want to get surprised later on. Ooh, we got to reload after I put the radar move on. I wish I was strong enough to go looting at night. So at the moment, we don't have enough ammo for that. There's just going to be way too many zombies... Jogging, I think I said on jog for not just night normal, normal nighttime zombies. But oh, is this the? This almost looks like the cave, but I don't think it is. Oh, where's this loot? There it is. I want to activate this puppy. Okay, so let's get this done. Fetch and clear. So we need to clear out all the zombies in this place. I want to make sure all these zombies come to me. I don't want to step off the property because then I lose the quest. Bullseye. Okay, so we need to get go in from which side? Just need to test this out quickly. You know what? Let's just crouch down. Oh, come on. I'm missing every single shot. Because of the way they're moving. Oh, I actually hit the one at the back as well, without meaning to. Now, I can't even loot that. Also, guys, now that I see that loot, the loot bag, I forgot to loot the stuff at the lodge. Uh, all the zombies I killed before I went into the lodge, I forgot to loot those. And I only noticed that afterwards. Is that a sp uh, that's a spider. Let's see if we can kill that thing. Okay, spider down. Am I using... Yes, I'm using normal rounds. Nice. The armor piercing, I only want to use if it's really, really necessary. I could technically kill all the zombies I come across. Like all the ones standing there, but I don't want to waste my ammo. Especially since I still need to work a little bit on my aim. Yeah, these you can scrap into iron. That's a nice way to get some iron without trying to. Now, do we have to go up on the roof? Are there any vultures? Don't see any. Is that zombie? Oh, no, it's upstairs. I thought it might be a vulture or something downstairs. Come on. Whoa. Remember that I, was, I thought I was standing on some windows. That would have sucked. Okay, so we have to loot everything to get our scavenging up. And guys, we are very close to level 80, if not already. Just want to check this. Yep, we're level 80. Didn't even notice that. Okay, so, before I waste my skill points, let's go for gun crafting. And tool crafting. No, quicker crafting. And lock picking. Level, oh, what do you need for this? Play level 90. That's a little bit messed up. Okay, so mechanic. 
We're gonna go for turret then. This does what? Just improves the range. Yeah, 10% more damage, 30% faster rate, 10% uh, more rounds. And I think it, no, it's not even distance yet. It's just, it, uh, the quality of it's a little bit better. Okay, now, I need to fall in here. I just, I don't want to get overrun, so let's just reload this. Just so we're ready for whatever comes our way. We need to be able to hit them with melee or shoot them with uh, AR. Okay, so this one, for example, he's just walking. And I can hit him easily. But if he was running, I'd just use my AR and get out of that situation. Or, guys, if you're crouching over here, it's harder for them to hit you. It's not a full corner block, which would have been way better. But it is still a way to get them to let you hit, uh, hit you less. Let you hit. Okay, my English. Okay, any more zombies on this side? Let's just close this door. i make sure there's nothing waiting for me on this side. I want to be able to one-shot blocks like these. Okay, and there's no special loot. That sucks. Okay, so. Um, ooh, this guy's going to be tough. And her. And you. Okay, he's feral. No, he's, he's not. He's just uh, nightmare speed. I thought he was feral because he was taking almost zero damage. But then I saw his name. There was no feral in his name. That's weird. Okay, that sounds like it might just be a Wandering Horde, or the zombies inside all might be awake. Let's hope for a Wandering Horde, there's more to kill. Uh, what's below me? Let's just close that door. Something's trying to break through here, so let's just help them. So, hello, 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 hello. Oh, it's nice when you can eat all of them at the same time. Did they also climb the roof? They seem to have. That is awesome, the fact that they can climb roofs as well. Just need to watch out for zombies, let's jump on top. Nope. My jumping skill is way too much for this place to handle. Okay, now we have to watch out that zombies don't come from behind, guys. Especially since this place is made of wood. They can easily break, uh, break through the blocks and get to me. It sounds like all of them are upstairs, we need to be careful of that. Okay, let's just do this. And this one didn't wake up for some reason, so let's just power attack him. Thank you. It's a shame I can't just block off the holes I come through. Yeah, something just woke up. Where are you guys coming from? Trying to break down this door for me. Let's do this, let's do that, thank you. Okay, I just need to make sure the zombies don't come from all directions. Uh, jumping ability too high, let's do this. Just one your... Come on, give me your head. Okay, she's dead. This is locked, so I need to break through there. That's behind you, just the bathroom. I don't get why all the bathrooms are locked. What's the point in that? Okay, so I need to go through there, but I also need to go through ya. Yeah. There's yet again another bathroom. Ooh, medical supplies. Thank you. I think I need to go through this bathroom. I need to go out in that hallway where the zombies were, and then out through ya. Yeah. Hello, mini zombie. Are you unlocked? No, you're locked. Let's just crouch over here. I need to get through to this side. I want to make sure I clear out this whole place before I continue. Oh, there's definitely wandering zombies from downstairs. I just want to watch out because there's no... Ooh, hello, ferals and stuff over here. I just want to get... don't want to get infected. That's my biggest fear at the moment. And I can't close that door. I should have brought normal bandages because at the moment I'm wasting all my tough ones. And I'm not even getting that much damage, but I, I'm just afraid that I get infected if I don't heal myself. Okay, so where does this one lead to now? It's another room within a room. Nice. Okay, so... It doesn't look like there's a ton of stuff to loot over here. And this goes where? Okay, just straight on from where I was. Nice. There are so many secret rooms and stuff in this place, you need to be careful. Let's see, this one just goes outside. Just need to make sure where these go before I continue. If they're locked like this, we can go through the wall. Just to see more or less what's there. You see, I don't see any way other way towards this place or in this place. Come on. Let you bleed you, bleed you, bleed you, and get through. It's way faster going through the wood over here than it is going through the door. So, okay, so there is an opening over here that I need to watch out for. And also we need to check for the, the mission. The, we have to fetch something. 
It says it's on this level, but I don't see anything on this level. Oh no, it shows it's downstairs. Okay, for a moment I thought it might be on this level. Now why, oh why, is this place blocked off? This looks like a massive building, guys. We might just be in for a world of hurt. Make sure there's no ferals and stuff. If it's normal feral, I don't mind. But if it's a radiated feral, then I'm gonna mind a lot. See, they're hitting me from so far away, but I can't reach them from so close. I know the hitbox on the, with this thing is a little bit weird, but that is messed up. That's unfair in my opinion. Just gonna do this, make some space. I should actually be carrying all my spikes on me, but I forgot to do so. Spikes on my way to defend myself easier. Okay, so... Unlocked, where does this lead to? It's still down. Yep, there's a basement to this place, guys. Okay, so we need to go through there. What's down here, then? This seems to also be a thing we can get in and out from. Hello, hello, hello. Are you guys feral? Yeah, you are. Okay, so let's just grab this gun. Okay, now we can actually reload this while we wait. I know I saw a fat guy in there as well. The, I wanted to say, did he not wake up yet? And he's feral. He's just super, super slow. For, so I think he got stuck on everything on the way here. Okay, we can close this door and loot everything down here quickly. I am getting encumbered again, so we need to hurry up. Get this place over and done with. But I think there is a basement to this place. So we are far from done. Okay, so there are boxes up here. Nice, thank you. Garage storage box, some ammo. Ah, oh, I forgot. I still need to make... Oh, now I can make my AK. I want to say I needed to make an AK, but I was waiting for that one skill point. Now that I have that skill point, I can make myself an AK without having to worry. I can't wait. A purple AK, and then we can just use normal rounds. We just have to up that skill level. So where does this lead to again? Kitchen... This seems blocked off from everything else, don't know why. The nice thing about the sword at the moment, guys, is because we're still more or less in a coldish biome, even in the previous building, the um, lodge we were at, this thing kept us warm. Okay, so we need to make sure the zombies don't follow us through. Okay, just need to make sure I don't get cornered by zombies. Hello. If I can hit the heads every single time, this is going to be easy. But I keep missing for some reason. I don't know if my timing's off or what, but it just feels wrong when I swing. Okay, now, please don't tell me this floor is going to cave in. And no loot. That's the second time that, uh, uh, that's actually happened. It feels like there's supposed to be loot and there's none. Okay, so now we need to go through this room, I think. Okay, so we went through there. Just turn that light off. It's way, way, way too bright. We were already in there. We were already in there. That's locked. It shows we still need to go downstairs, so I missed something. There's no way I missed it. Oh, this seems to be the basement. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, let's just see, make sure this thing is reloaded. I want to do that. You know, to save a little bit of space, let's just do this. And then it's easier to make a little bit of space over here. Okay, so I just probably should handle these zombies first, because they're trying to break in from outside. That could have been bad, especially since I'm going downstairs now. I can't afford zombies to block me in. Okay, now, there might just be some tough zombies over here, so let's just grab this gun. I'm actually expecting a ton. Okay, we need to crouch through there, it seems. This thing is a working workbench. What's behind here? Even more. Hello. Okay, so it says we need to go upstairs now. I want to make sure we loot all of this before we keep on going up. Damn, there's a ton of zombies over here. So let's just see if I can use a grenade. We're going to do this. And with that contact grenade. This is going to make a little bit of a boom. Like so. And now, just stand back and wait for them to come to you. And all of them are jumping up in a nice straight line. Crap, 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 reload. Okay, these guys are too dumb to go around. Nice. You just have to watch out for the zombies coming from the top now. Can I close this door? Yeah, it's closed already. Okay, nice. I think there's a way to fall in through this because I saw someone. It was a Let's Play I watched where a guy actually fell in and he landed in a place like this. And he was instantly screwed. <laughs> it was actually very funny to watch. 
Okay, is there something behind all of this? You can never be too certain. Nope, just a normal desk. This leads where? I think outside. I don't make sure we loot this whole place first. Ooh. Just a normal zombie. I thought it was going to be a tough one. Okay, come down to me, please. It says it's on the top floor of this basement. There's a uh, satchel we need to grab. Come on, come on, come on. It feels like I'm really slow for some reason. It's going to suck if there's a really tough wandering horde coming through right now. Especially if it's a bear one. I hate those bears. Okay, so this thing is untouched. Thank you. I need to actually start making myself some water. I always say it, but I never do it. Okay, so there's the satchel. Thank you. Okay, we just came from over here, right? We still need to... Yeah, let's just loot all the stuff over here. Uh, I think we need to exit to the other side. So I want to make sure we get from one place to another. I don't want to skip anything that we can loot. The fact that we can crouch over here means there might just be some secret stash in there that we missed. Okay, so let's just crouch over here. And nothing. I think there should have been a secret loot over here, but there was nothing over here. See, so, so for some reason, my special loots behind paintings and stuff, they're not spawning in. I don't know if it's just bugged or if it's just bad luck or what's going on, but I'm definitely not getting what I'm supposed to be getting. Okay, so there seems to be more to this place. I just need to be careful that I don't stir up a hornet's nest. This place seems to be utterly huge. Okay, so I thought this might be the exit, but it's definitely not. Let's just make sure we loot everything we can and get the most out of this experience. Okay, so tire we need to pick up. We are very close to leveling up yet again. And I think that leads outside. So what does this door lead to? Unlocked. Let's just grab the gun in case. Secret stash. Yes, I knew there had to be a secret stash here somewhere. That is unlocked. Thank you. I should actually also get myself lucky looter goggles. They might not help much, but at least they are going to help a little. And I need to start making space because I am running out very, very, very fast. Okay, please tell me I get some awesome loot over here. Weapon flashlight mod, not that great, but it's okay. Uh, sandwich we drop. Shovel we can actually sell, so let's just use that. Oh, and also we need to start collecting more goldenrod. And if we see some, some tomatoes. As you guys know, the tomatoes actually are used for the red dyes. It seems you can go out through the spikes over here and... The trader we need to hand this into is our trader. So that's even, that's a bonus. Because we need to go back to the trader to do upgra uh, upgrading and stuff before the ward anyways. So now we can just as well hand in the quest before we do so. And should probably pick up this bag. It might be crap, might be something, who knows. Yep, crap. Okay, so we can just scrap that and let's go. I am super encumbered and there's stuff on the bike so we need to grab, we first need to dump a few things before we talk to the trader. Or the guard captain, whoever it was. And then also, guys, I think I'm going to cancel. Just to make sure I cancel the right one now. No, it's not that one. It's the top one, I think. This one. Yeah, I'm going to cancel the top one. Uh, reason for that being, we've already done it. I don't want to loot something twice. So I just need to check out which trader gave me that quest so I can accept a new quest before the next episode. I think what I'm going to do for now to make space is just dump a few things on the bike. I'll pick up the bike off camera and just get everything into their respective slots that they need to be in. Just want to make sure I have enough space now for the quest reward over here. And I need to put a rad remover on my AK that I'm going to make. At least you guys saw we have the uh, the points for it, or the other parts for it. Now I just need to go and make it. Okay, so uh, this is 500, thank you. And 758, definitely this one. Okay, do you have any jobs? Please, Northwest. Even if it's just the west, it's fine. But just the west from here, I think it's another town. Um, that's a level one. We can't afford to do a two lower thing. Okay, let's just first see. Where is south? 600 south from here might just be in the snow again. But it is a level five or level four, so that's the best one to do at the moment. It's not in the town we want, but at least it is a Maybe quest. Next time. So Can do you have any jobs? Survivor? And we go for the... Oh, it is level 5. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, leave it down below. And guys, I am going to grab all the concrete mix we have cooking downstairs. See how far I can get with the upgrades and also do a little bit of inventory sorting so we can sell a few things as well. Yeah, um, leave those comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content.
See you guys next time for more some awesome more zombie killing fun. <laughs>